This session is all about washing our worries away. A lot of this pattern of us making something like money or our friends or our body image or whatever it is our surrogate for worry, it usually stems from childhood. And it's usually learned behavior. Let's say your parents struggled financially or they were always trying to make ends meet. So their worry and concern became all about having enough money so that they can put food on the table, so that they can take care of you, so that they can take care of themselves. And so that money energy started to become less about energy of flow and ease and grace and prosperity and abundance and more about survival that reaffirmed the worry, that reconfirmed that worry pattern. So for example, money in this case becomes the surrogate for your worry. Then what happens is our experience of money will never be a peaceful one. It will never be an easy, it'll never be enjoyable, it'll never flow. And those brief moments where we actually have it and experience it, we're still worried about where to get it from next. So we're not fully here. Our complete experience of money becomes worry. And therefore, it's never going to be easy. It's never going to be peaceful. The same thing, let's use our body image and the way that we see our body and maybe the way we treat our body. Maybe when we are feeling more emotional and we don't actually want to feel and honor our feelings, we eat. And so when we eat, we are trying to fill that void and we are then after that going to start worrying, oh, it's summer season, I need to be more healthy, more fit, and I want to worry about my body and make sure that it's okay and this and that. Rather than caring and loving after our body and honoring it and allowing it to be exactly what it desires to be, we are then trying to put that energy of control and fear on the care and love. And therefore, our body is going to give us the feedback and say, hey, this, there's going to be a lot of tumultuous ups and downs here, whether it's yo-yo in our weight, whether it's us not fully loving and embracing every inch and curve of our body, whatever that is, there's always going to be an unstable, unfulfilling energy relationship between us and our body, which has nothing to do with the body. It has everything to do with us choosing to make the body the surrogate for our need to worry. So are you seeing the difference now? Are you seeing all those times where you thought you didn't have enough money or the times that you were judging your physical body or you were not happy with your job and all that? Do you see that it had nothing to do with those things? Those things were just showing up in that way to cater to be the surrogate for your need to worry. So can we send compassion and love to all those parts of you that so needed to worry that it actually placed it, energy of worry, on all these areas of your lives, whatever they are, whether it's money, career, not knowing this, not knowing that, your relationship with your family, your partner, your children, your body, for all the times that that happened. Can we just send so much love and compassion to all those parts of you that unconsciously or consciously chose to make those things the surrogates for your need to worry? Can we go ahead and send all that love and compassion now? If you want that, say yes. Because underneath worry, all that's left is love. All that's left is care. So that fear that we were running away from, and fear can have to do with so many things. It could be the fear of the unknown, the fear of losing something, the fear of being alone, and the fear of no longer existing. So those are the four main fears. And so whatever fear that is, when we allow ourselves to feel it, then that worry transforms into love, into care, into peace. Let's just send love and compassion to any fear attached to your expression of caring and loving, especially with yourself, with your body, with your mind, 
with your energy, with your experiences, with the people around you, places and ideas, to all those parts of you that were not allowing yourself to fully feel that fear, which was creating the attachment to it. When we allow ourselves to feel it, that attachment starts to dissolve. And then all that's left is what's under that fear, which is love. That's it. And this is who you are at your core. So although we have worry as a very real experience in our lives, when we allow ourselves to actually feel the worry, where it's in our body, allowing ourselves to feel that fear attached to it, where that's in our body, then it feels seen. It feels heard. It feels recognized. So it no longer will try to push back. It will no longer try to get your attention by making you worry. It will now see the value in getting your attention by asking for it in ways that feel good to you, in ways that can remind you, hey, am I loving myself right now? Am I being kind with myself? Am I taking care of myself? Am I caring for those around me? And so when you think about this pattern of making our children or the money in our lives or family or our body the surrogate for us to need to worry, do you feel compassion? Do you feel compassion for yourself and for those things? Do you feel space between you and the need to worry about those things now because you understand that it had nothing to do with them? Can you see that? Can you see that worry has nothing to do with any of those things? We had just placed worry on those things and used those things to keep us in the energy, in the loop of worry. But those things were just volunteering. They were helping us so that we can now heal, so that we can continue on a path of expansion. It all brought us to this point in time, right here and right now, where we can be aware that they were just serving the purpose to keep us in the worry and not feeling the worry, not feeling the fear underneath that, but now that we know how to feel the worry wherever it needs to be felt, now that we're willing to acknowledge it and the fear attached to it, we no longer need to make those things our surrogates of worry. When you no longer need to make those things your surrogates, when you're aware that when you are using those things and worried about them, it has nothing to do with them, even though your mind will try to convince you that it does, that it's just your mind's want of worry, it's entertained by that. It's a part of entertainment for the mind to worry because that's what it has learned to do. And so when we realize that, we start to heal it. We start to free ourselves from the stories that we have to worry. Now we can say, oh, I'm choosing to worry, but I don't have to worry. Worry is very turbulent. It's very exciting, but it's very turbulent and it keeps things going up and down. As we do the work, we notice we're less attracted to that need to be on a roller coaster and more attracted to that inner peace, that inner stillness, the love that is always within every cell, fiber, and molecule of our being. When people worry, they actually create a specific attachment or a connection or a bond to that thing that they're worrying about. So there's also this part of us that feels a responsibility to continue this burden that we've placed upon ourselves to continue this pattern for our ancestors of worry, of struggle, of survival, because if we don't, then we feel guilty. So can we heal any parts of us that are choosing to continue this pattern simply because of guilt? Can we clear that and show us that guilt itself also is just another way of feeling like we're being connected to our ancestors? 
I'm going to invite you to go ahead and imagine yourself under a waterfall, showering you with white light. From the top of the hair, strands going into the head, around the face, and everything that this light washes over starts to feel ease and peace. So allow this to permeate every cell of your being, down your arms and your fingertips, down the chest and the solar plex, down the hips, the root, the legs, the tippy toes, your auric field, all of it being washed by this beautiful waterfall of light. This is who you are, my friend. This is who you have always been. What would life look like if you allowed yourself to be free of the need to worry? Please subscribe and comment. I'd love to hear from you. Have a miraculous day.